So uh, three finals have been uh, completed. Two titles already to China, and China, of course, represented in the last of our two finals here this afternoon. Coming up next, the mixed doubles, and then the last final in this year's championships is the men's singles. The world number one defending champion, Li Chongwei, against the Olympic champion, Lin Dan of China. So, to the mixed doubles final, and the unseeded combination of Xu Chen and Ma Jin playing in only their second ever tournament together up against the number three seeds from Thailand, Sukip Praprakamol and Sara Lee from Tonkan. It's the Yonex All England Open Badminton Championships here at the NIA in Birmingham. Please welcome in the mixed doubles finals from China, Zhu Chen and Ma Jin. Ma Jin, the world champion in mixed doubles, but not with her partner of today. Here at these All England Championships, she's playing with Zhu Shen. Only their second ever tournament together, and they're through to the final of the Yonix All England Badminton Championships. And please welcome their opponents, number three seeds from Thailand, Sukhak Pravakamol and Sarali Thunthonkam. What an occasion! for Sukit Prakamol and Sara Lee from Tonkan, the number three seeds from Thailand. First Thailand players involved on finals day here at the All England Championships for 48 years and the first ever representatives from their country in the mixed doubles. In fact, the only previous appearances by Thailand players was in the men's singles. Three times men's singles finals contained players, a player from Thailand. So the umpire for this mixed doubles final is Yaolinna of Malaysia. Jane Hancock is the service judge. So the Chinese combination, Zhu Chen, 26 years of age, Margin just 22. who's been in two semi-finals before but never a final and they don't have a world ranking because they've only played one previous tournament in that previous tournament they reached the semi-final of the Korean Open where they lost out to their teammates Jang Nan and Zhao Lei. the pair they incidentally beat in the quarter-final here and of course that Chinese combination Jing Nang and Zhao Yun Lei were the defending champions. Well, they've had their battles along the way. Second round encounter against Chris Adcock and Imogen Bankia going the full distance, as indeed was that quarter-final against the number one seeds. But also let me draw your attention to the first round encounter against number six seeds, Ko Sun Hyung and Ha Jung Hung, because they reached the All England final two years ago as qualifiers. And then, of course, the quarter-final opponents, Zhang and Zhao, won the title last year, having had to qualify. Good to see a German pair in the semi-final, but they were no match for this Chinese combination. So their opponents from Thailand, both the players from Thailand, 31 years of age. World ranking at the moment of four, but they have been as high as two in the world rankings. Seeded three, but prior to these All England Championships, it had a couple of tournaments this year where they lost in the first round. 
They did, however, reach the final of the Super Series finals in Taipei at the beginning of the year, lost out to Zhang Nang and Zhao Yunlei. Well, the first three matches were all marathons as far as the Thailand pair were concerned. Bronze medalist from the Commonwealth Games in the first round and then the winners of the German Open in the second round. And quarterfinal against Tao Xiaoming and Tian Qing, where they dropped the opening game, 4-21. And Yao Lin Na and Jane Hancock are court officials for this mixed doubles final. Big occasion for the court officials as well, not just for the players. Chinese pair of Zhu Shen and Ma Jin. Only their mm. second ever tournament together. Quite remarkable. Here they are in the final of the All England Championships. And as for their opponents, the number three seed Sukip pra Prakamol and Sarali Thong Tongkam, first Thailand players to be involved in finals day at the All England Championships for 48 years. The last Thailand player involved on finals day Ladies and was gentlemen, men's singles player. This is the Yonex Open Championships Mixed Doubles Final. Between, on my right, Shi Chen Ma Jing, China. And on my left, Sukhet Rapakamal. Sarani Tung Tong Kam, Thailand. <laughs> Margin to serve the Sarani Tung Tong Kam, Labo Play. Well, this is new territory for all four players on court. Not one of them has experienced an All England final before. And I guess an awful lot of this Ian, is going to be how the individual players handle their nerves. Yes, absolutely. Strangely enough, it's probably Margin, the youngest player on court, has probably got the most experience. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see how the different pairs react to the situation. We've seen some, shall we say, strange performances from the Thailand pair this year where they've drifted in and out of matches. Occasionally they've started very slowly. So it'll be interesting to see how they react to the final. That's a good rally. Yeah, you talk about Ma Jin being the most experienced player on court. The age of 22, born in Qingdao, which is where we're going to have the Cinnamon Cup later this year, end of May. Well, she's, of course, current world champion in the mixed doubles with Zheng Bo. And also silver medalist from the world championships in women's doubles, where she played with Wang Xiaoli, who we've just seen win the women's doubles title here. Better just explain as to why my Ma Jin isn't playing with her world championship partner, Jin Bo. Well, he fell out with the coaching staff at the National Training Centre in Beijing. The coaches didn't feel that he was committed enough to his training. Said to have had a bad attitude. Good 
Raleigh. Yeah, that's a great rally. Very interesting, the Thailand pair really almost chasing Zhu Chen around the court, trying to keep the play. And Zhu Chen trying to keep Margin out of the play on the forecourt. Very clear tactic. interception from Sarva Lee from Duncan. Yeah, and there we see Zhu Chen. Last year played more men's than mixed, and that was more of a men's doubles return. Block return and staying there. Margin wasn't sure whether to whether to come forward or go backwards. Yeah, that's an interesting point, actually, in because Zhu Chen is playing with his third mixed doubles partner in three all england championships they've been trying him with various partners nothing's really seemed to to gel and therefore he did concentrate more on his men's winning a bronze medal of course at the world championships last year in men's doubles you yeah, see the serve of margin see how quickly it dips over the net she's got a very very good short service it's very difficult to get on top of and get the shuttle going down. Another example. Certainly it was a big feature in the World Championships, the serving of margin, creating lots of opportunities for Zengbo in the rear court. Where of course he was so strong. emphasizing the importance of dominance at the net and both women vying for control. Yeah, a couple of nice net exchanges in that rally. Sarali coming out on top that time. That's going to be a key feature of this game. Who can get control of that net net area? And Sarali's certainly come out to be very positive. Trying for the kill there and they're really trying to be guess, aggressive to get control of the net, but they're just guilty of forcing a little bit. shirt there, former Olympic champion, two-time Olympic champion and three times winner of this All England mixed doubles title with Gao Ling. So far, oh, it is. This net area is really crucial. Uh, Sara Lee refusing to lift the shuttle, wanting to compete to try and get Margin off that net position, but that time it was Margin who won the point. Oh. Just about everything. Seven. 
Zhu Chen really is very high up on the court, able to pounce on those little half-court shots. Yes, he's got a lot of confidence in margin around the front of the court. And that allows him to take that advanced base position and be very aggressive around that mid-court area. Straight points by the Chinese pair. Again, good block from Margin. Also, sub cut into the defensive lift. And that's very difficult to control from this end. Shuttle flying much quicker. Away from camera as we see it. Straight points by this new Chinese combination, Xu Chen and Ma Jin. And the advantage to them at the mid game interval. 11 7, with nine minutes of play. It's been a really interesting mixed doubles tournament here in semi final stage. We've had five different nationalities involved in semi finals. I haven't gone mad because, of course, one of the four pairs was mixed nationality, in that Hindra Setiawan was from Indonesia and Oroski from Russia, Anastasia Oroski. And we've obviously had these two nationalities and also Germans as well. There's Mixed doubles is really open at the moment. It is. There's a lot of countries putting more attention into the mixed doubles, of course. It's an Olympic event. It's the same Olympic gold medal as any other sport in any other event. And more and more countries are taking mixed uh, seriously in terms of preparation and uh, notational analysis. And it's a very, very interesting event at the moment. And as you say, Jill, very open. Straight points now to the Chinese pair. Yes, it's very noticeable. It's the dangerous margin with the on service. It really is a difficult serve to get on top of. Sudget here reads the play, follows in from the midcourt, knows he's got to close that net area down. Very aggressive finish to the point. Sudget from Chombori, east of Bangkok. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, that might help settle the nerves. A little header of the shuttle over the net there from Sara Lee. creating any attacking opportunities here and Sara Lee being driven off the net and at the moment it's Margin who's creating all the attacking opportunities for a partner. Oh, 
Oh, my goodness. Well, Hu Chen not deceived by that little topspin lift at all. Dealt with it quite brilliantly. And so far, it's a question of it's the subtlety from margin and the power from a partner. First mistake Margin's made for a long time. Again, it was made trying to get control of that net position. Yeah. Well, that was a wasted opportunity. The error on serve from Sarali from Tonkam. the centre of the court with a new pairing often causes confusion. And a little block, and both the Chinese players pulling their rackets away, leaving it for the other. Yes, I think there's a clue in there for the yeah, Thailand pair that Zhu Chen's playing a very frenetic game at the moment. He's trying to put pace on from everywhere. I think the Thailand pair just need to take the pace off when they're playing to him. Let's try and... Slow him down a little bit, mix it up, get some mistakes out of him. Everything's so well at the net at the moment, Margin. Coming from above the shuttle as well all the time, isn't she? She's not bringing the racket down low, racket up ready. playing that first shot at the back of the court landed virtually on the carpet surround Seems very slow to get back into the mid-court area good judgment Slightly slower rally. 
Zhu Chen very, very keen to put pace on all the time and not giving himself much of a margin with that down the line attempted smash. Thailand paired twice bronze medalists at World Championships 2005 and 2006. And last year won their first ever Super Series title at the French Open. Clever placement, and the channel attack down the centre, dissecting the two Thailand players. And that good tactical awareness has earned the Chinese pair seven game points. Jin really has been outstanding in this opening game. Just showing why she is the world champion in the mixed doubles discipline. Leading the game, aware of the gaps and the rewards in the opening game. 21-13 in 19 minutes of play. This new Chinese pairing at the moment looking very impressive. Couple of indications here of how good Margin was there and how she was able to dictate the play from the forecourt. Short rallies heavily favouring the Chinese pair. And look at those net winners, eight to three. That's a sign of the dominance of Margin so far in this match. Obviously, talked about the dominance in the women's doubles of the Chinese players. Let's not forget that China has won the last five All England mixed doubles titles. And unless the number three seeds from Thailand, Sukit Prapakamol and Sarali Thong Tongkam, can start easing into this match and, and quite frankly, pushing Ma Jin back off that net area where she was totally dominant in the opening day. Eight net winners from her, and only three net winners from the Thailand pair. Well, it's easy for me to say that's what they've got to do. They've got to start dominating the net more, but in reality, how do you achieve that? Well, the first thing they've got to do is start dealing with margin serve. Chinese are winning a lot of easy points on her service. Chen Jin very, very quick onto the third shot. I think that's got to be the tactic, though, not to let Ma Jin take the third shot after she serves. They've got to go through to Chen Zhu, but uh, he's been very, very quick around the midcourt so far in this match. Having said that, traditionally he's prone to periods of matches where he does make a lot of errors. have never won a title here at New England Championships. 
But I guess that sort of statistic and that sort of chance of making history doesn't really enter the players' heads once they're on court. They focus in to the job in hand, the next rally. But must be aware of that statistic. Yes, but the match is underway now. They're concentrating on this match. And we can see that Sarah Lee here, she's desperately trying to get control of the net. But Margin won't lift. Won't lift, and eventually it's Sarah Lee that makes the mistake again. But she's got to keep going for that net position. Oh, well, between the legs, shot from Zhu Chen. And that probably just frustrated Sarah Lee that that first one came back. And made a complete miss of the second attempt. Ideas at the moment, aren't they, Jill? They really are, and Zhu Chen continuing to keep the pressure on them. The pace of the rallies is very, very high for mixed doubles. Yeah, more urgency in that rally from Sukhip Prakmol. Yeah, better return. Better return, forced the Chinese to hit upwards. Look at that, got past Margin. Su Chen forced to lift the shuttle. And Margin having to retreat into a defensive position, never really getting into any sort of position to defend the smash. medalist at the world champs last year very natural in this net position good racket skills good racket speed I won't be happy with that. A big smile from Sikke Prakamol. Maybe trying to just relax himself. Just not happening for the Thailand pair at the moment. No, they're actually returning serve a lot better in this second game and getting the shuttle going up, but they've both been guilty of making unforced errors from above net height, which you just can't afford to do at this level. stages of that rally which had gone way past her she did so well to control it that was the one <laughs> 278 that's the fastest of the tournament so far
173 miles per hour. Game running away from the Thailand pair at the moment. They know they've got to return serve well, get in early and get the shuttle going down. But in, do, in trying to do that, they're making too many errors. Both wide and long. All looking fairly desperate at the moment, as far as the Thailand pair are concerned. Points adrift in the second game, having already lost the first. Yeah, he's just pouncing on everything now, isn't he? Yeah, but Thailand pair guilty of giving him too many opportunities on the midcourt. Shuttle above the net. That's a poor cross-court lift. Leaves his partner way out of position in defence. Just have the feeling Sudkets running out of ideas a little bit. Chinese pair is more what I would call a traditional Chinese pair. Margin's very much the brains of the pair. She's winning the attack, competing for the forecourt, serving very well. And Chen Zhu is providing great intensity and pace from the rear court. Well, it's called good. Yeah, indeed it was. Oh. Maybe trying to influence the call. That was clearly in. the shuttle all around the court even on return of serve that's a great leg drive takes it early he's not getting out of balance with it either he's back and ready if the shuttle comes back it's great technique yes we're exposing the fact that they are a brand new partnership Smashing down the centre of the court, confusing Zhu Chen and Ma Jin. Of course, Zhu Chen has been playing with Yu Yang, the world champion in women's doubles, world Olympic champion. But they never really sparkled, did they? And then Ma Jin has been playing with Her Han Bin, who used to play with Yu Yang, it really has been musical chairs in the mixed doubles as far as the Chinese players are concerned. But this looks as if it's got potential, real potential, this mixed doubles pairing now. 
Yes, looking back to the World Championships, I think we were both very, very impressed with Margin. She was clearly the best player on the court in both the semi and the semi-final and the final. And uh, I think they've just been really looking around for what the best option is to play with Margin. Zhu Chen looks determined to take that opportunity. I'm sure he knows he's got a great partner. He's playing with fantastic intensity today. Well, the movement of Ma Jin there, she'd had to play one from her backhand side. She immediately raced across court. There she is, the backhand side. Now, look, she intercepts that one that's going cross court. How good is that? Yeah, it's, it's, she's playing so well around the front court, creating loads of opportunities. But you see, Zhu Chen was so close behind her as well, and very, very high on the court. Shows how much confidence he's got in his partner. Again, it's Margin who's making the difference. Seven, Absolutely seven, brilliant. Seven, eight. Yeah, not great from Sudkep taking the shuttle from below the net, which means Margin's in good position. and that means Sara Lee's got to come away from the net and she's vulnerable in defence. Here we see it going cross court. That means Sara Lee's in no position to defend at all. Oh. Yeah, it's good judgment, it was just wide. Again, right idea. Right, making the error. I mean, it's a desperate situation now. The Sukip Prakamol and Sarali Thong Tongkam. Two points away from defeat. And obviously, the Chinese, two points away from victory. Now, just the one point required. 11 championship points. Absolutely extraordinary. Sukit Praprakamal and Sara Lee Thong Tongkam. Sukit just leaving the low serve, letting it drop in. Didn't even watch it and just went forward to the net to shake hands. Knew that it was a lost cause, but I have to say I'm disappointed that they didn't fight right, right till the end. Look, he just leaves it. He's not even looking at it. He's to the net to shake hands. That is extraordinary. It's an All England final. Well, he is a real character. We've been talking about that all week. Known to his teammates as the turtle. Well, he's great to watch because you never know what you're going to get with him. But I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. 37 minutes for the mixed doubles final and victory for Ju Chen and Ma Jin in two straight games, 21-13, 21-9.
to see that at the end of the match, the good sportsmanship. But I thought the performance of Zhu Chen and Ma Jin in today's final was absolutely superb. Never really allowed the Thailand pair into the final. Ladies and gentlemen, our runners up in the mixed doubles, Sudkek Prabhakamol and Sarah Lee Nungthongkam from Thailand. The number three seed, Sudkek Prabhakamol and Sarah Lee Nungthongkam. Thailand still awaits their first ever title here at the Onyx All England Championships. Zhu Chen and Ma Xin from China will receive the trophy from Adrian Christie, Chief Executive of Badminton England. Ladies and gentlemen, 
the 2011 Yonex All England Mixed Doubles Champions from China, Zhu Zhe.